Hi, my name is Michelle Cabina. I'm presenting for Idyllic Media Art TV. Today I'm here in London at the Urban Art Fair where it's been held in Brixton at Josephine Avenue. Today we've got some artists that are here with us and um, I'm going to interview them to find out what they're doing with their art today and where they're taking it. So let's go. <laughs> so tell us your name and a little bit what, uh, what you do here. <laughs> my name is Carol, Carol John. Um, I've been painting for a while. And um, urban arts, this is my fourth year of doing urban arts. Um, I just enjoy the environment, so that's why I keep coming back year after year. Aww. And um, explain to us um, one of your artworks. Let's talk through one of your artworks. You've got something over here. Yeah. Um, um, there's a woman with a baby. What's yeah. going on there? Well, the thing is, I went to Gambia um, recently, well, about last year, I think a couple of years ago, and I did this one. Um, this one here as well, where they have a lot of boats, um, and I just love the colour and the things with Gambia. So these are the Gambian boats where the fishermen come in at, at night, oh, yeah. and that also led on to one of the ladies, and this lady's from Mali, Okay. Um, but the beautiful thing about her, she's got lots of colour, she has a beautiful, but lots of colour, lots of colour going on, I'm really liking it. I really loved her because um, when I saw her, I took a picture of her and I, I had to ask her husband whether it was okay because I said, can I take a picture? And she looked at her husband and uh, he sort of said, um, he nodded, you know what I mean, it was okay. So I took a picture of her. But she is from Mali, he was from Gambia and she has a tattoo around her mouth right. and in Mali they tattoo the mouth with henna. Right. And it's part of uh, a ritual that they, they think of, of making themselves beautiful. So that's really, and she was such a pretty lady. And that's why I t did that picture of her. And the baby just adds to and it as baby, well. And the baby, It's just the whole sweetness mom. going on, it isn't beautiful, it? It was beautiful, but it was just a nice connection between the two. Because the father was like on one side and these two was on one side. That's so, so nice. I thought it was really beautiful. So talk us about the location. Um, why have you decided to place your art here today? I love the atmosphere. I mean, this is my fourth year, and I just like the the I just like the the you know the atmosphere, the people coming through, talking to people. It's very relaxed. It's normally very sunny. Sometimes it's quite rainy, but you know today's really nice. That would not be good for your art. No, no, we've had some really bad years, but you know it's that's what I really like about it. You know, I just like the art lovers coming around, asking questions and. You know, and I just love it. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, you can always explain. Each picture has a story to tell. It has. I mean, this one, I've just gone on to do some men. I don't do a lot of men, I must admit. But this one, I, I was just attracted to the, you know, um, black males in the 1950s, how they dressed. And that's why I, I did this piece, um, because of the, they really quite smart, you know, the hats, the suits, the thin ties. And I love that. It's quite, you know, quite old-fashioned, isn't it? Is, like when they really first came, it. like to London. I mean, yes. I remember my granddad used to dress exactly like yes. that. And yes. yeah, that's you've got the whole thing going on yes. there, which is great. Yes. So, what do you actually plan to do with this art? Where are you taking it? Um, I must admit, I think what I need to start to do now is to sort of make, maybe take a step back and just concentrate more and. Um, because I, I, the thing with me, I do a lot of expressions, as you can see, it's different sort of expressions of what I do in the, my yeah. art. But I think I just need to take a step back more and just say, okay, what direction am I going to go in next? You know, so I. And will you be showing that. these at any sort of art expeditions or anything like that? Hopefully, hopefully I will do. I, I think it's just to get the, be able to get the arts together, do you know what I mean? And then spend the time to go out or find the venues and, you know and take up whatever opportunities may be available for me, which I don't do. I, don't, I must admit, I don't push myself um, to go out much, but um, maybe that's what I'll do. I'll see how I go, get on this year. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk to me today. Uh, I'm Michelle Cabina, and, um, oh, before I leave, do you have a website at all? Where can we find you? My website is not working <laughs> at the moment. Uh -oh. It's gone, it went down. But I, I'm, I'm, hopefully I'll get another website up. But I do have an email if anybody wants Facebook, to contact me. Facebook, perhaps? Any form of social yeah, media platform? Yeah, yeah, social media. You can get me on Art and Spice Creations on, on Facebook, on Twitter, 
and also my um, email which is artandspice at gmail.com. Well, Cara, it's been lovely talking with you. Thank you. Okay, I hope to see you soon. Thank you. And um, this is I'd Like Media TV.